Hi, and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of January 17, 2022. First, let's do a quick recap of the predictions for the last week. Uh, specifically, I wanted to touch on the predictions related to the square between Mars and Neptune, which uh, was in effect from about, I would say, the 10th through the 14th of uh, January, most strongly, and of course, plus minus a few days uh, for it to kind of gain in strength and loosen up or decrease. Uh, so it is interesting that, uh, as expected under that uh, square, uh, I was predicting that there would be events like underwater volcano explosion or uh, a volcano uh, that would be maybe on an island. And indeed, we had um, on the 15th, uh, of course, a volcano eruption in Tonga with the uh, subsequent tsunami. Uh, we also had um, the unfortunate event of the hostage taking also on the 15th, uh, where of course I didn't specifically predict that, but uh, a synagogue being a place of worship also falls under Neptune. And of course, Mars being uh, a god of war uh, is symbol for uh, like attacks or problems, fires, uh, you know, shootings and things of that nature. And then uh, also on the 17th, again, as the square uh, between Mars and uh, Neptune was waning, but is still in effect, again, a few days before and after the exact aspect, uh, indeed, as predicted, there was also an attack uh, on the, um, a drone attack uh, at the, uh, I guess, Abu Dhabi, and uh, it was on the major oil facility there. And so, Again, oil has to do with things like Neptune, also in Jupiter, I suppose. Uh, but with Mars squaring Neptune, that was exact, uh, exactly one of the predictions that I made that there will be an attack on or problems related to oil, like maybe an attack on an oil rig or oil spill um, or fire. And of course, there were also fires subsequent to that attack. And uh, as a result, on uh, Tuesday, uh, oil prices have been going up. Now let's turn to the predictions for this week uh, for the stock market. We have uh, four, at least in the US, there are four trading days, uh, Tuesday through Friday, with Monday being a holiday. And on, I made a prediction on my blog at lastunga.com that basically this will be an up week with all four days, uh, seeing a movement to up. Now I am recording this on Tuesday and I do actually see that there is a major drop in the stock market due to the concerns about the uh, rising yields, uh, rising US Treasury yields specifically. And um, I did make a prediction again on my blog, but that has to do more with the expectations at the end of the month. So from about the 27th through the 31st, uh, and both globally and for the US, uh, they're coming out some important news, again, specifically related to like governmental assets or investments into, again, specifically government bonds. And uh, I think indeed there may be some important announcements still coming out. And this will have to do with Mercury joining uh, US Pluto in the second house. So again, focus on the communication announcements, purchases, sales uh, related to anything to do with debt, uh, information coming out. That's a little bit more clarity, perhaps about the um, the rates or the proposed uh, changes in the policies and especially uh, around the 28th. And then we will also have Mercury, uh, excuse me, Venus turning uh, direct. So Venus having to do with value on the 29th. So definitely at the end of the month is when I was expecting additional um, news related to specifically the value of various uh, governmental, I guess, uh, assets um, and specifically for the US related to the bond purchases. Uh, uh, I did not expect it to start affecting market just yet this week, but obviously it's happening. Uh, but uh, just to kind of give you a heads up that uh, if we're seeing this kind of effect already on Tuesday, the 18th, there certainly will be more news coming out later this month. And again, especially uh, around the 28th plus minus a few days where for one, there will be more announcements, maybe like a large sums of money uh, being um, spent on, again, some sort of government-related contract, like, again, maybe uh, bond purchases and or uh, some other announcements about the financial policies. And again, even though the 29th is actually Saturday, there may still be some change in the direction or change in uh, either 
uh, direction of the policy or some clarification coming out after perhaps an announcement on the like 27th, 28th. So some correction or some additional information may still come out on Saturday. And additionally, also at the end of the month, there may still be additional news related to things like IT, uh, telecoms, um, airlines, airspace. Um, and again, this may also be related to the value of those companies. But then let's focus back on to the news for this week. Uh, I think that there is still a good chance that the market will recover for the remainder of the week, so Wednesday through Friday. Other than uh, the news about like this rising yields, I don't really see uh, super negative or super difficult transits for the rest of the week. Again, things will start getting a little bit more serious, uh, I guess even more serious than today at the end of the month. Um, but as a global influence, uh, 14th through the, uh, of January through the 4th of February is actually um, the time where Mercury is going uh, retrograde. And so globally, what we might expect at that time, including this week, is various delays in some sort of uh, transportation, communication, delays for especially flights or problems if somebody's taking a car trip, where again, things are either miscommunicated or there's lack of clarity. And similarly, if there is a uh, trade, like for example, on the 18th, uh, Microsoft announced that they're buying um, a large video gaming company. And so whatever the discussion that is made um, during the Mercury retrograde phase, uh, some details will then change when the Mercury uh, turns direct. So, you know, after the 4th of February. So if there are certain conditions or certain, again, timing or details, uh, those conditions may yet still change. And again, especially since now we also have uh, Venus retrograde. So whatever the value was, I think it's like $69 billion or something for the purchase, uh, things may still be adjusted, potentially uh, lower. And again, certain value is not quite yet established and things are yet still bound to change uh, both when Venus will go direct on the 29th of January. And again, contract details, again, timing, logistics, um, perhaps uh, who's in charge of what, etc., may still be um, subject to change and will not be fully kind of clear until uh, around the 5th uh, of February onward. Uh, for the US uh, this week through about the 18th, uh, there's actually a good time for um, companies that, that again are related to IT, telecoms, airspace, airlines, uh, as well as uh, healthcare support uh, programs or support for the needy, uh, even the workforce, or um, also for, for uh, dealing with international partners. So through the 18th, the time is beneficial for those areas to see some improvement or receive additional funding or report um, increased profits or make some beneficial connections um, between like US and its international partners. Uh, for China, again, as a background influence for that country for the entire month, it's actually beneficial for them to be expanding um, yet again in the area of like IT, telecoms, robotics, anything that's like high tech, you know, electricity, electronics, chips, uh, et cetera. And specifically for building some sort of infrastructure, starting some new projects, uh, like again, building, uh, maybe starting an airport or starting some sort of new social platform, etc. So definitely a lot of expectations for growth. Um, again, new leaders, new opportunities like robotics, electric vehicle industry. So there, um, again, whether we see it in the news or not, but this certainly is a time of expansion and again, planning a new project. And again, specifically with the focus on large scale infrastructure, and support for these areas to be expanded in the near future. Um, another area that's also uh, can see growth for China this month is entertainment industry. And again, with focus on like online activities, social media, perhaps uh, something along the lines of like buying and selling things with uh, cryptocurrencies. But again, maybe it's a domestic cryptocurrency rather than, of course, um, independent ones. And then similarly, again, for China, starting from about the 14th of uh, January through the, about the 6th of, of February, and especially, again, at the same time, 
as we may hear important news coming out of the US regarding like <clears throat> bond purchases. Uh, so 25th through the 27th of January, uh, for China there may be some uh, conflicts with partners, some deals may be postponed or some disagreements about something that's like an old standing problem, but now it may kind of um, come up again and the reason for the disagreement or kind of uh, it may be the partners and again it could be China or its partners um, taking like an inflexible more rigid stance and again this may have to do with high tech uh, producing um, chips or batteries or electronics or parts for those and so whatever the communication is around those areas again right around the 25th through 27th but again through the 6th or so of February, there may be some disagreements or some stalemate or some delays in either producing those or disagreements on who, uh, you know, is responsible for, I guess, what part of the problem. So in this, for example, China may either withhold, reduce or delay uh, either production or mining or shipment of certain like parts or um, equipment or even raw materials that are needed for one or more of these areas, like maybe for manufacturing of the uh, batteries that go into the electric vehicles. And so again, that's why there may be some tensions there, especially at the end of the months. Uh, at the same time, there's also in China at the end of the month, especially, but through the 6th of February or so, there's increased probability of like major earthquakes or shakeoffs or some restructuring where maybe leaders change of, or, or and for like a um, large company or a governmental entity or are there some problems that again could be an earthquake that leads to a structural damage of a large building um, like a power plant etc so somewhat of a tense time i guess globally in general let's see the 18th uh tuesday uh, my prediction again on the blog at listenco.com was and i haven't seen those news yet but maybe they're still to come is that in the u.s there may be uh increased sort of um focus on um a particular leader or a celebrity or some famous person perhaps they were famous in the past rather than somebody who's new or maybe like an old you know actor that now is now in the news or old politician that's you know suddenly pops up in the news where uh, uh, they will either have said something that is deemed to be like too eccentric or kind of you know half people agree with it half don't but there's this controversy about what they're saying or perhaps some unexpected and unusual move that they make, like they purchase something that seems extravagant or um, they travel somewhere unexpectedly. Uh, so again, I haven't seen that specific news, but now that I've obviously seen that there was an announcement about um, Microsoft's purchase, uh, you know, of this video game company, um, what is it It's called? Uh, Activision Blizzard. I guess they've made Call of Duty and some, you know, other video games. So... <laughs> Basically, what I'm thinking is that um, this particular transit that my interpretation was more focused on it being about an individual, again, it still may well be the case. It's just maybe I haven't seen that kind of news just yet. Uh, but also um, with this transit, uh, which is the Mercury conjuncting US Pluto, uh, excuse me, US um, node in Aquarius, um, this indeed may be a representation of an IT company, which is, of course, Mercury and Aquarius, has to do with uh, IT, again, aerospace and things like that, uh, electronics, uh, high-tech high gadgets and whatnot, uh, going over the um, one of the nodes in the US chart is symbolic of there being an important public announcement. And again, rather than it being about the individual or in addition to it being about an individual, indeed, this may um, symbolize this or man have manifested as this announcement about an important uh, like an old standing player in the IT industry specifically announcement announcing this large purchase and um, moving forward towards I'd say uh, March and April of this year we may see even more news about um, similar types of either purchases or expansion of IT companies or maybe movie companies or you know companies like Netflix uh, basically to improve their standing in the areas that provide this visual entertainment or any sort of visual arts or indeed like, uh, you know, metaverse, kind of these virtual reality related um, activities. Uh, so either equipment or activities themselves, video games, etc. And this has to do with basically 
we just had Jupiter enter um, Pisces back on the 29th of December and it will conjunct Neptune uh, in early April again in Pisces. So it's definitely a very beneficial time where we may expect even more news from now onward kind of expanding uh, or increasing where companies similar again to what we just saw with Microsoft will continue either purchasing or developing their own um, internal programs or buying more equipment or developing new equipment, developing new solutions, games, etc., even videos or movies that are, uh, again, trying to appeal to this kind of visual entertainment sort of um, area, something that um, is a fantasy world where people can get lost, etc. And after that, so sometime after the 11th of May, actually, Jupiter is going to enter Aries, which at this point, we may see then again expansion and focus on the air, uh, the Aries related to Aries, which would be like um, video games. If it's we're talking about video games, it would be like sports or these first person shooting kind of games, again, Call of Duty or any other Halo, etc. So um, there would be more focus on um, things that have to do with, again, sports, some sort of action, um, and from like this lazy kind of a fantasy world where people get lost, it will be more focused on expanding activities, even if it's a video game, the focus again on esports activities um, and active uh, sort of games. And this will continue through about the 28th of October, then we'll have a brief um, sort of retrogration, retrograde um, period of Jupiter going back to Pisces briefly through about the 20th of December and then we'll go back into Aries. So basically, um, certainly through spring of this year, we may expect um, increased focus or interest in companies kind of approaching businesses or starting to develop their own oppor opportunities or offers that are related to visual entertainment and yes you need anything that has to do with fantasy getting lost somewhere um, be it you know in some religious kind of a <coughs> area or a fantasy world or something that is a make-believe those areas will definitely see increased interest and increased value and increased sort of growth uh, so let's see so again i think uh, the rest of the week is going to actually be actually be an up week even though at the end of the month 27th um especially 28th for the us uh, there may be some important announcements related to again um, rates uh, bonds and the governmental purchases or governmental assets where again there may be some um, either changes or transformations announced or some old program may be announced to kind of cease to exist and again uh, it may be somewhat kind of a jarring, uh, difficult news again with Mercury conjuncting Pluto <clears throat> because Pluto symbolizes kind of an end of an era, so to speak. Uh, and uh, let's see. And then after that, um, starting from about um, January 22nd, so the end of this week, through yet again February 5th or so, we will actually have a beneficial um, transit of Venus, um, even though it's going to be retrograde. Um, for part of this time, training Uranus. So from about the 22nd of January through the 5th of uh, February, we will see some um, beneficial announcements for industries related to, yet again, IT, telecommunications, airspace, high-tech, um, electric vehicles, drones, etc. And um, yet again, there may be some switch in sort of a value. Maybe there will be seen as undervalued um, well, Venus is retrograde, so through the uh, 28th of January, and then from the 29th through the 5th, approximately, uh, the uh, sort of the valuation of these companies or these businesses or um, their profits may see a change. But either way, whether it's being done behind the scenes or um, or in sort of an open um, kind of way, meaning that it's being publicly announced this whole time period from about the 22nd of January through the 5th of February is actually beneficial for these companies where they may see some Im improved um, um, profits, uh, increased investments, increased value of the services or products that they offer. And also in, we may see at the same time, this is a hypothesis, I haven't yet um, looked at this in detail. However, just on the uh, astrological sort of inter interpretation of it, when we have Venus, which is the value, Finding um, Uranus in Taurus, which 
is indeed symbolic of like currencies, um, banks, also cryptocurrencies in particular. There indeed may be an increased uh, interest in value of these assets. Uh, increased interest in purchasing them. But again, there may be some sort of a shift or switch between the 28th and 29th when Venus goes from retrograde to direct. So the interest in those areas, again, from IT to cryptocurrencies is still going to be there from the 22nd through the 5th. But there may be some sort of a switch and maybe some things are being done either behind the scenes through the 28th or these companies are seen or these assets are seen as undervalued. Uh, and people are not actively rushing into perhaps investing in them. But then from the 29th through the 5th, they may see increased um, sort of a more overt interest with actual like buyers stepping up and making investments in them. And so I think especially from the 29th through the 5th, um, those assets may especially go up. And again, that's my theory this time. So let's see what actually uh, plays out. And uh, one quick additional note that's for sort of a glance ahead session. Um, I made a quick uh, sort of update for my predictions that again are posted on my blog on a weekly basis for uh, around the time of the 1st of August later this year. And basically the prediction uh, still stands where I expect this to be a difficult time period where increased probability of various uh, disasters, accidents, especially like plane crashes, for example, or major storms, um, as well as um, shakeups, especially uh, for China that are related to like its banking system or loans, debt situation. Uh, however, I think at the time that this um, the difficult time, I think now I'm expanding the prediction to cover more from like um, even three weeks from starting from July 25th through approximately July 13th. And in fact, all three weeks starting July 25th, August 1st and August 8th, all of those three weeks, and especially July, uh, August 1st and August 8th, Mondays, both of those may see really major drops, or there may be some seriously concerning news. Again, this could be along the lines of just um, weather disasters or like an earthquake, or it could be an accident, again, like a plane crash or some power plant um, going down again, possibly due to, say, a hurricane. Uh, but it also coincides with really difficult transits to um, Venus in the chart of China, which of course has to do with, and of course it's, it's in, um, uh, what is it, Scorpio, which has to do with like debt, especially, or earnings through like loans, for example. So definitely major transits to that part of uh, the chart of China and definitely indicative of like sudden turbulations where the value is suddenly lost and it may not be easily, um, it may be hard to predict what it might be where maybe one day uh, something is promised to be there like that, you know, some entity will actually pay its bills or uh, whatever the money that it owes. Uh, but then the next day that entity is no longer there or it's closed or something like that, something that is fairly dramatic and unexpected. And again, the entire period from about the 25th of uh, July through the August 13th is uh, difficult, maybe one of the more difficult times of this year. So definitely a time that maybe, of course, maybe a popular time, certainly in the Northern Hemisphere for people to take vacation, maybe fly somewhere. I would say maybe not the best time for flying just because of the uh, those transits uh, often coincide with like major um, crashes. Uh, so and of course, also important time for the markets and again, potentially because of the news out of China. So I'm going to wrap it up here again. Hopefully this big drop on Tuesday is going to turn and um, things will go back up uh, Wednesday through Friday. And I hope you're having a fantastic week in the meantime, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.